Hey, welcome to part three of Falling Skies, yeah, Python for Beginners. Let us take a look at what we have so far. So I do a quick review, and we got a screen, uh, we've got a player, and what we're going to do in this lesson is make the player move. Um, now this, this part's a little bit more complicated than what we've done so far. Um, there's a lot of little steps to it. Uh, they're not complicated steps, but you got to get them all just right or nothing works. So what I'm going to do is I want to start out, I want to make a a little thing here called player direction and let's say when the player starts the game uh, we're gonna have the player move left now we'll, we'll change that later but for now let's just say we want the player to move left okay so I'm gonna run that and if you're expecting something to happen you're gonna be disappointed Okay, nothing's happening okay, which is which is what we expect uh, so one of the things we need to do is we need to create a main game loop okay? and to do that we use something called a while true loop. Okay, so uh, so the way a loop works is while something is true, it will repeat. Okay, so what I've done here is I have indented. That's actually four spaces, even though I was able to use the tab key. So you can either do four spaces or you can do a tab. You cannot do both, so you got to choose one. Okay, so I'm going to call that the main game loop. And what I want to do in the main game loop is I'm going to say move the player. Okay, note these little hashtags, these are called comments. Um, they're just for human beings to read. So what I want to do is if player.direction equals, notice it's two equal signs. So when we compare something, we use two equal signs. But when we assign a value, we're telling it something is something, we use one equal sign. So player direction equals left. Okay. So what you gotta do is you gotta think to yourself, okay, left, you know, is that the x coordinate or is that the y coordinate? And if it's whichever one it is, is it plus or minus? So just to review, um, on this is the x, so plus x, minus x. Hopefully you can see the little cursor here, uh, pointer. Up is plus y, down is minus y, so x plus plus x is right, minus s let x is left. So what I gotta do is I need to find the current x coordinate of the player. And to do that, I just use this code. Note the parentheses. Okay. So then what I want to do is I want to subtract 3. That's just the number I picked. You can make it a little faster, you can make it a little slower. Uh, and then what we do is go player.setx x. x. Okay. So if you remember, when we started the game, the player was at 0, negative 250. So x equals player x core, so x is 0. We subtract 3 from x, so x is now minus 3. And then we set the player's x to minus 3. And then remember, this is a loop, which means, which means it repeats over and over and over again. So let us run that and see what happens. Okay, so there it goes, and there it keeps going. Okay, so let's leave that at that. Uh, that's that's kind of what we wanted. Now, we also are going to have the player move right. So what I want to do is, uh, basically, when, when you're coding, what really helps, helps you do things and to avoid errors is to just copy things that work and change them. So we already got it moving left, so I'm just going to copy, oops, so I'm just going to copy that keep this main loop at the very end and then what I want to do here is I'm just going to change what I need to change so rather than typing it all over again where I can make a lot of mistakes I'm just going to copy it and then fix what's different so this should be right and instead of minus 3 it's going to be plus 3 so let's test that okay so so far it's working okay so we have direction and inside of our main loop, which again is repeating over and over again, notice this is indented because it's part of the true while true loop. Notice this part is indented because it's part of the if statement. Okay, so if you're not familiar with loops and if statements, uh, you might want to do some reviewing. I have a couple of tutorials somewhere. Uh, if somebody reminds me, I'll, I'll post it in the description uh, that'll walk you through some of that stuff. But anyway, um, so we now have the ability to move the player left and right. But what we wanted to do is we want to do that with the keyboard. 
So what we got to do is we need to make something called a function. Actually, make some, some functions. So a function uh, is kind of in my mind. I like to think of it as a little helper program within a program. So it does like one fun. It does like one thing really well. Let's say. Okay. So we're gonna need a function. So we need to define it. And I'm gonna call this first function go left. I'm putting parentheses. I hit enter. Notice the indentation. So every line that's indented here is part of this function. So what I can do uh, is what I'm going to say is when I do go left, I'm going to say player dot direction equals left. Okay. So now notice I've started the, the game, the player going right. Watch this. Why don't we do stop? Okay, so we want the player to stop until you know the, the the user decides to go left or right. We've got a function called go left, which sets the player direction to left. So let's run that and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, this is exactly what we expected. I want to kind of cut the video out here for a second. Um, so here we're on part three, moving the player. Uh, my computer kind of locked up. Uh, that's because basically we had this loop, and nothing was happening because the player wasn't moving. This is a. I don't think this happens on Windows or Linux. Uh, it's a Mac. The Mac, the Mac implementation of the Turtle module is not actually that good. It's much much faster on other operating systems, but uh, we can work with that. Uh, so. What I had here is I wanted to show you, I was trying to show you, that the functions uh, don't do anything until you actually call them. So let's run that. Okay, so you can see now it is running. So yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Now, if we have a go left function, we're going to need a go right function. And so just keep it simple. I'm copying and pasting because I know this works. So I'm going to go ahead and make that and then I'm going to try this just to test it. Notice I'm typing a couple lines of code and then I'm testing it. Beginners, I don't know why insist on typing everything and then trying to debug. It's impossible. Uh, do it step by step. Okay, so then it's moving right. Okay. So now the last step of this is we want to be able to use the keyboard to move our items. Okay, so or to move our player. So I'm going to do something called a keyboard binding. Okay. So watch this carefully. So the first thing I need to do is I need to tell the computer to listen for keyboard input. So I notice I use the WN, which is what we put up here. So I'm saying to the window, listen for keyboard input. Notice there are parentheses here. Don't forget those. Then, okay. if a key is pressed, Notice here, no parentheses for go left. Notice capital L. This L, EFT, this left means left arrow. Now, if you want to do the A key instead, you could do that, or capital A if you're going to use caps lock, but it probably should be lowercase. Um, I prefer to use the arrow keys. Okay, so I'm going to say win dot on key press go right. I should have just copy that. So let's try it. Okay, and the computer locked up again. Um, I think I'm gonna have to like stop the video. And oops, there we go. Force quit. It made it. Quick time. Python. Yes, not responding. I'm aware of that. Yeah, it's very frustrating when that happens. Um, so let me quick show you how to fix this. And again, this is a stupid Mac thing. Um, so wn.tracer0. What this does is this shuts off all screen updates. Now, if you run your program right now, nothing will happen. Okay. Inside the while true loop, you need to add this update screen. So win.update. Okay. If you make a mistake with those two, you're probably going to have some problems. So let's run it again. Now I can move left and right. So I'm hitting the left arrow, hitting the right arrow. Okay, so again, wind tracer, put that up right after the wind screen part, and then 
down here inside the loop you have to have the win.update. Okay. So let me just review that real quick. What we did is when the player starts, we the player is going in the direction of stop, which means it's not moving. Okay. Inside our main loop, it checks if the player's direction is left, then move the player left by three pixels. If the player's direction is right, move it right by three pixels. Okay, and just keep doing that over and over again. Keyboard bindings. Okay, we tell the computer to listen for keyboard input. If a key is pressed, call the function go left. Notice no parentheses here. And do that if the left arrow is pressed. Again, you can change this to A and D or anything you want if, you, if you're really into that. Prefer it that way, left. Okay. So that is how we get the player to move. I'll try and hopefully I can edit all that video stuff together. Uh, so stay tuned for part four. We're going to add the uh, falling uh, good stuff.